Today's episode is brought to you by the Daily Gardener Friday Newsletter. You can sign up for the newsletter over at thedailygardener.org. Hi there, and welcome to The Daily Gardener, a podcast about garden history and literature. I'm Jennifer Ebling, and today is February 28th, last day of February. Today in garden history, we celebrate the birthday of Michel Ikem de Montaigne, who was born on this day, February 28th in 1533. Also known as Lord of Montaigne, Michel was a French Renaissance philosopher. He was also a prolific writer and was famous for his anecdotes. Michel once wrote, I want death to find me planting my cabbages, neither worrying about it nor the unfinished gardening. And it was on this day, February 28th, in 1828, that Frederick William Beechey wrote to William Jackson Hooker to apologize for sending an inferior collection of specimens. He explained that the expedition's collector had opted to play the violin seven hours each day instead of exploring and gathering plants. It was quite upsetting. And it was on this day in 1844 that the New England Journal published a little notice about a use for the milky sap of sumac. They wrote, It is the best indelible ink that can be used. Break off one of the stems that support the leaves and write. In a short time, it becomes a beautiful jet black and can never be washed out. And today is also the birthday of André Simon, the French wine merchant, wine expert, and writer, and he was born on this day in 1877. In his book, The Concise Encyclopedia of Gastronomy, that was written in 1952, André wrote, Beans possess over all vegetables the great advantage of being just as good if not better, when kept waiting. An advantage in the case of people whose disposition or occupation makes it difficult for them to be punctual at mealtime. It's time to grow that garden library with today's book, Hill House Living by Paula Sutton. This book came out late in 2021, and the subtitle is The Art of Creating a Joyful Life. Well, I have to say that Paula's book is a delight. I love the cover. It's very springy. It's very beautiful. And it's a wonderful mix of some of my favorite things. It's part antique hunting, part gardening, and part a celebration of the seasons. A beloved British design and fashion influencer, Paula left her busy life in London at age 50, and then she started over in a gorgeous cottage home in the country. Paula likes to say that she traded catwalks for dog walks. She has a beautiful Labrador retriever and couture for manure. Very clever. A master of styling with vintage treasures in the home and outside in the garden, Paula shares all of her top tips and tricks for bargain hunting, repurposing, and incorporating old and new in a way that feels fresh, simple, and stylish. As a person, Paula is positive, generous, and authentic. You will love following her on social media. Go ahead and look her up, Paula Sutton. She's easy to find. And you will also appreciate having a little bit of her genius right on your bookcase, coffee table, or bedside table, which is where mine is as I write this. You can get a copy of Hill House Living by Paula Sutton and support the show by using the Amazon link in today's show notes for $15. And that's a steal. The fabulous Paula Sutton. All right, we end today's show with a botanic spark featuring Arthur William Simons, who was born on this day, 
February 28th in 1865. He was a British poet, critic, and magazine editor. And this is a little excerpt from his poem, Lillian, which appreciates the green powers of the hothouse. Here's what he wrote. This was a sweet, white, wildwood violet I found among the painted slips that grow, where, under hothouse glass, the flowers forget how the sun shines and how the cool winds blow. Well, that's it for today's show. Just remember that you have a standing invitation to join the free Facebook group for listeners of the show. The next time you're over at Facebook, just search for Daily Gardener Community, where you'd search for a friend and then request to join. And if you'd like more of The Daily Gardener, you can subscribe to the newsletter over at thedailygardener.org. And don't forget that you can also show your support for the show by using the Buy Me a Coffee link over at the website or in today's show notes. This is Jennifer Ebling. Thanks for listening to The Daily Gardener. And remember, for a happy, healthy life, garden every day.